Hello, I'm Kathy, the art teacher from Arch Projects for Kids. I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw a Valentine bear. If you draw one holding a heart, it's the perfect place to add your own Valentine message. Let me show you how. Now before you begin, you need to gather your art supplies of drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. You can also follow along with this free matching tutorial that comes from my website. I also recommend making guides on your paper before you start to draw. You just need to fold and crease the paper in half in both directions. You'll have lines that match my tutorial, and you don't have to worry about erasing them when you're all done. Step number one, start by drawing the large heart that is centered on the paper. It's gonna be about this big. I'm gonna draw the right side first. Step number two, and then draw a symmetrical left side like this. Watch me draw it now with my pencil. Step number three, now for the bare head, it's gonna completely fill the top half of the paper. Start in the center and draw the right half first, and then draw the left half. Try to make the sides match each other. Step number four, the face is really simple. You start with two large circles for the eyes. They should be about the size of a quarter. Then draw two smaller circles inside. These are gonna be left white and will look like shiny reflection spots when you're done. Lots of cartoon artists like to add them to their drawings. To finish the face, draw a simple nose and two lines for the mouth. Step number five. Two ear shapes go on top of the head. They should be about the same size. Then you need to add lines inside for the edge of the ears. Step number six, draw two ovals for the paws, overlapping the edge of the heart like this. Add two larger ovals below, also overlapping the heart edge. They're gonna be the feet. Step number seven, now it's really important to erase any lines inside the ovals so that they look like they're in front of the heart. Add some small circles inside the feet. They're gonna be the pads of skin that most bears have. Step number eight. Okay, the drawing is done, so now you can add whatever message you want inside that heart. Mine is gonna be simple, just the words, I love you. Try to work slowly though, so you can make your neatest writing possible. Step number nine. It's time to trace over the entire pencil drawing with a black marker. It will make all the lines show up really well and will make the bear easier to color too. When the tracing is done, take a moment to erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing. Before I switch to crayons, I'm gonna use that black marker to color in the eyes leaving those little spots white, of course. A marker will make the eyes nice and black so they really show up. Oh, and that nose gets filled in black too. All right, now it's time to switch to crayons. You know, red seems like a really good choice for the color of the heart. I want mine to be a bright red, so I'm gonna press pretty hard. The fur of my Valentine bear is gonna be a dark brown. Feel free to make yours any other color though. This is your Valentine bear after all. The last touch is the inside of the bear ears and the bottoms of the feet. A pinky skin color seems like a good choice. All that's left is the background of your bear drawing. Filling it in and not leaving it white will make your drawing so much more colorful. I'm going with my favorite shade of sky blue. Okay, there is my finished Valentine bear drawing. It makes a great Valentine card, so much better than anything you could buy in the store, that's for sure. 
Thanks for following along with me today, and I hope you've enjoyed this Valentine Bear tutorial video. Please check out my website, Arch Projects for Kids, for more step-by-step -step tutorials like this one, including how to draw a Valentine rose and how to draw a Valentine cupcake. I'll see you next time, and I hope you keep on drawing.